So the other day I came across this video and I wanted to make a quick comment about it. So you have this nine-year-old girl who's having a conversation with her mother. And based on what she was saying, uh, at some point, her and her mother, you know, was having a conversation about uh, the role of a father. Um, and I guess her mother was, you know, sharing her thoughts on what a father should do and his role in the household and uh, taking care of his family, things of that nature. So anyway, um, she basically told her daughter that a father is supposed to have a job. Um, a father is supposed to take care of his family. He's supposed to be a provider. All that, you know, pretty much pretty much all the things that go without saying. So later, our daughter goes to school and she finds out that one of her classmates' father just happens to be a stay-at-home dad. Her and her classmate continue talking and... She pretty much called, <laughs> she called this kid's father a bitch because he didn't work. And she pretty much repeated everything that her mother initially told her. And I'm assuming that this kid went back and told his parents what she said. So then her parents went over to this little girl's house to talk to her mother. I don't really blame this little girl for what she said because she was just repeating what her mother told her. I think that when, you know, when her mother decided to speak on this subject, I think that she should explain things a little better because her opinion was one sided. Well, at least I think her, I thought her opinion was one sided. Um, she should have told her daughter that every situation is different. We have stay at home moms. We have stay at home dads. And if two people are married, um, there's always a reason why one parent would temporarily stay home. Example, I have a friend who's married. And at one point, his wife was in college and she was working towards a master's degree. So he tells his wife, he's like, hey, look, I want you to stay home and focus on your studies until you graduate. You know, I have, you know, I have a full time job. I can take care of the bills. You don't have to stress about that. You know, just just focus on your studies. You can come home, you know, take care of the kids, hold down the household. And then once you graduate um, or or better yet, you know, while you're still in school, you know, I, I'll leave it open. You know what I mean? It's totally optional. If you want to get a job while you're in school, you can, but you don't have to. And also, I've seen a situation where the roles were reversed. It was the wife working full time and taking care of all the bills while the husband studied and took care of the household and took care of the kids. You really can't expect a kid to um, to understand the dynamics of, you know, of, of a marriage because they don't because they don't you know, that's not that's not really something that you see a group of kids her age is going to sit around and discuss anyway. That's not the norm for them. So it's not like they're going to sit around talking about the roles of of a married couple and what you know, what married people should do as far as like the father should do this, the mom should do that. That's not something that kids typically talk about. She she definitely went, you know, she went and went to school and called some, you know, some some kids father a bitch. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, that's um. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty much my thoughts on that. But um, but yeah, what do you think? Uh, if you like the video, uh, just hit the like button and uh, uh, subscribe for more.